Hey, this is John Carlos, and I used to collect the bejesus out of the old Doctor Who action figures back when they were 5 inches. Then they switched that really crappy, like, undetailed 3 inch series, and I just stopped because I hate them. But I'm really excited because they brought the old scale back for one new figure. The War Doctor. Or as he's credited now, the Other Doctor. So let's check this out. So here's a quick look at the packaging. I'll give you a closer look at what's going on in the back there. As you can see, he's got the moment, like artwork, back there. Unlike some toys which have a twist tie for each leg, this is one big twist tie for both legs. So I kind of appreciate that. He also comes with the 8th Doctor's head, which is a nice little detail I'm glad they included. And the moment. And his sonic screwdriver. And now let's take a closer look at these accessories because I think the work that they did on the moment is really, really cool. I mean, considering how small this box is, there's a lot of really good details, not just within the sculpting, but the quality of the paint. I was not really expecting that for this action figure, so I really, really dig this. Now here's a closer look at the uh, Eighth Doctor's head. And I think they did a really good job with uh, not just the likeness, but of how they handled the hair. And the paint on it's really clean too. I mean, his eyes and mouth are fine. It's a really, really good head. And then this tiny ass thing. Let's see if I can even get up close to it. And here's his uh, little tiny sonic screwdriver. I do wish that this little top end might have been painted black, but oh well, just that little line around that top bulb. Paint and sculpt, those are the two key words for this figure because they are awesome. I mean, just look at his boots. This is a detail that I normally may not care about that much, but geez, look at the way that there's a sculpt here and that it opens up, it's not buttoned there, and the way that these boot covers hang over his shoes. I mean, the sculpting of the way all that goes down is really, really good work. Then you add the paint of all of it and like the kind of weathering paint, so there's like more than one brown tone being used. Just the way that these all kind of are sculpted to be in this open position really, really impresses me. Uh, and that can go with the rest of the figure too, but for some reason the shoes really stand out. Now underneath his coat, his shirt seems serviceable enough, uh, you know, his his scarf is well sculpted, the paint's a little simple, but you can kind of see the belt that goes across his chest, and all the little silver pieces are very well painted. Uh, the coat itself, too, is made of a rubbery material, so I like that it can kind of hang and move with flexibility with the rest of the figure, and I really like the way it's painted to also give it that sort of weathered look. Now, if you want to talk articulation, yeah, there's like a like a hinged ball in his shoulders. Typical, like, you know, single elbow joint with a uh, bicep cut. Um, what I really like is there is a boot cut. Boot cuts are very helpful. And there's no uh, ball in the uh, leg, but it does swing out and swing forward. And there is the, uh, the waist cut. But let's talk about this face sculpt. Because I'm a huge John Hurt fan. And this looks great. This really does look just like how he does in the episode. I think they did a great job with his hair and the way they painted his hair so you can kind of really see the sculpting of it. Um, but man, that face and those eyes. And even just the way the eyebrows are painted, I think they did a good job with his like mustache goatee. This is a really, really, really great head sculpt. All right, now I'm just gonna pop off his head and see how easy it is to put on the other head. Wow, very easy. And it is a good size, it's good scale, it fits good, and it certainly looks cool. And uh, while we're at it, we'll uh, put in a sonic screwdriver. And here he is with the 10th and 11th Doctor, just so you could see how he sizes up height-wise. All in all, this is a great figure. It's got really good paint, and an incredibly good sculpting considering its size. As a fan of John Hurt and Doctor Who, I love this figure, and if you're a fan of the Underground Toys and you really like Day of the Doctor, then this is a very easy figure to recommend. Thanks for watching.